just about ready to get started. Charlotte will get the football first. In this pivotal matchup in Conference USA, Western Kentucky is closing in on a win today over FAU. But for Marshall, it's simple. Win the next two, they play for the Conference USA title. As we get underway, Andrew Sanders, the kick, and goes out the end zone for a touchback. Trips to the top of your screen on second and 10. Reynolds, that's a little flutter ball, and it was almost intercepted by Marshall. Two guys in the area, Eli Neal and Bo Plan, were looked like they had a great shot at the pick after it was tipped. It's incomplete. That's that Marshall defensive line getting in Reynolds' face. T.J. Johnson, left side of the screen, hits Reynolds' arm, affects that throw, and Marshall nearly comes away with a turnover. DeBose tied for the team lead in touchdowns. One of the best stories you'll find in college football was working at part-time at a Walmart last football season. Play action over the middle. It's tipped and almost picked off. Brandon Drayton tipped it. Dove and almost came up with the pick. Second near interception on this opening drive. It looked like an RPO where Reynolds reads that backside. Thought he had some open field there, but a good play by Drayton of stepping back and getting his hands up in that passing lane. And again, almost another pick for the Thundering Hurt. First and 10 from inside the red zone. Again, this is where they struggled last week, especially on their first three possessions. Got inside the five twice, didn't score. Reynolds off play action over the middle for DeBose and a nice defensive play to break that pass up by Micah Abraham. A lot of good DBs in the Abraham family. Of course, the son of Donnie. Micah's brother Devin also played Division I football at the University of South Florida. Elijah Alston getting some pressure in the face of Reynolds. He had to go to his second read. And nice coverage by Abraham coming in late, recovering after DeBose had to step on him and breaking that up. Charlotte going hurry up. Third down and short. Bird again trying the right side. And I think he got about a yard, and he'll be a yard shy. Some throws that will make his coach's hearts skip a beat. Sometimes you benefit from them, sometimes it hurts you. Drops the throw for the first time. On target to his man. It's caught. Corey Gamage. That's get him about six yards to set up third down, just like that. It's third down and about four for Marshall. Ali around the left side. Ali breaks through for a first down. And if he got through that tackle, he might still be running. Luke Martin had him by his fingertips, those fingertips around the legs. And if he didn't hold on, that was going to be a touchdown. A nice run by Ali. He's very talented, has a lot of speed. Just like that, it's third down again for Marshall on the opening drive. They're down in five. They really struggled on third down last week, one for 12. They converted once on this drive already, and they convert for a second time. Corey Gamage with the catch, and a little bit extra to the Charlotte 46. Gamage is kind of the safety blanket for Wells. When Marshall needs to move the sticks, they're going to find him, and he does a nice job of settling in the soft spot of the zone. They go hurry up. Fake to Ali, throw over the middle, complete. And those are those easy pitch and catches that Marcus West was saying we had to take away, but such high percentage throws, and Wells has the experience, are tough to stop. But as you said, Robitaille coming off a 12-tackle game last week with a nice job there. Ali lowering the shoulder and finishes the run to the 26-yard line. That'll be short of a first down by about a yard and a half, but you'd think this will be a couple of plays to get the yardage. Great job by Ali there of lowering the shoulder, finishing that run. Tenth play of the drive, Ali up the gut. Clear space, clear lane, end zone, touchdown. Just like that, Marshall responds. Rasheen Ali, his 18th rushing touchdown of the year. He leads FBS in total touchdowns now with 20. Marshall's an extra point away from tying it up. The Marshall O-line did a nice job of opening up a big hole up in the first quarter. Well, if you were Marshall, you saw exactly what you wanted to. A great response by the Thundering Herd. Rasheen Ali with his nation leading 20th touchdown this year.
Marshall ties things up at seven after the touchdown run by Rasheen Ali. Charlotte was still getting lined up at the snap. Watch the left guard, James McGee, climbing up to the second level, fitting on the linebacker, Luke Martin, opens up a huge hole for Ali, and he just walks into the end zone to tie. Under three and a half to go in the first quarter. Reynolds changes the play, just gets the snap off. Bird. Up the gut, and he is pulled down right at the line of scrimmage. A great play by T.J. Johnson. Had a couple of miscues in the red zone. Cost Charlotte some points. There a missed field goal from 44 yards out. Gives the ball back to Rasheen Ali. And Marshall and Ali with a healthy gain of seven on first down. Ali just getting downhill quickly there. He's a tough runner. He's got the, the moves and the athleticism, but he can also lower the shoulder and hit you with some power. Second and short, right back to Ali. Shifty running, picks up the first down. Second and 10, under a minute to go in the first quarter. Tied at seven. Play action. Open in the flat, tiptoeing the sideline. Talik Keaton. And he's shoved out about three yards shy of the first down. Fourth down and one to start the second quarter. Rasheen Ali, Grant Wells, and the offense still out there. Ali gets the call. And Ali has the first down. When you've got Rasheen Ali as an option in the backfield, going for it on fourth and one from right around midfield seems like an easy decision. And not, not too tough a decision. You're going to hand the ball to 22. Right side of the O-line does a good job getting a push, giving him just enough room to move the chains. He has more input on play calls this season than he did in the past as Ali again with an explosive run inside the 35 and down to the 33. This offensive line for Marshall opening up all the holes for Rasheen Ali. The tenth play of the drive for Marshall second down and seven at the Charlotte 30. Wells rolling out into the flat as Harrison again. And Harrison has the first down into the red zone out of bounds at the 15 yard line. A good play designed by Tim Cramsey getting Harrison in motion. You see him coming across the screen from right to left, and you get a linebacker on him, get him out into space, and a good gain for the herd. Gain of 14 to the 16. Ali with some patient running. Cuts up the middle and is taken down at the 11 yard line. Marshall tried to run counter, little gap scheme run. They didn't quite get what they wanted in terms of the blocking, but Marshall does a good job of bouncing it to the outside and finding some space. John Alexander with the tackle back in the lineup, the transfer from Kansas State, missed the last couple of games. Second and five. Ali off the right side, breaking through a tackle, has the first down, first and goal upcoming for Marshall at the five. A good block by the tight end, Gaines to take the defensive end around the outside, right side of the screen, number 11, just gets him turned around, and then you see 52 getting up and getting a block for Ali as well. So out of two Charlotte timeouts, it's first and goal for Marshall. Ali already has one touchdown. They go right back to him, and Ali has his second touchdown of the first half. And Marshall has the lead early in the second quarter. Rasheen Ali has rushing touchdowns of 25 and 5 in the first half. Again, that Marshall offensive line just blowing Charlotte off the ball. Watch the middle, pushing everyone back, giving Ali plenty of room, and he just has to... One for six on third down in this first half. Calvin Camp gets the call. Number five, Calvin Camp with the carry. And the call is blocked. No gain. First and ten after yet another fourth down conversion for the 49ers. Four for four plus one with an offside. So five for five. Bird again, but he is dropped behind the line of scrimmage. A huge loss back to the 37. First one to get there was Elijah Alston. A good play by Alston of just exploding off the line of scrimmage, penetrating into the backfield. 
And Evans just runs right into him. Top of the screen, 58 in white. Good get off, flying up field, goes inside of the tackle, and Bird had no chance on that play. Loss of four officially, back to the 37. Second and 14 with under nine and a half to play in the first half. Camp looking for some room off that right side, and he finds none. Back to the line of scrimmage, and it's third down and long for the Charlotte offense. Second and six, Wells into the flat. Jaden Harrison again. Harrison makes one man miss and picks up the first down of the 22. Harrison went in motion and nobody went with him from Charlotte, so Wells just dumped it out there. You get a dangerous guy like him out in space. No one widens with Harrison, and then you get him one-on-one. -on -one, he's hard to tackle in space. Not Grant Wells today, 8 of 12, 60 yards. He's missed a few throws, but Rasheen Ali, six yards away from 100 in this first half. Ali has eclipsed 1,000 yards for the season and has already scored a couple times. Little pitch forward. And a good gain on first down. Picks up 11. To Talik Keaton. I think after missing those two deep balls earlier, he's a little bit shy to throw it that far. Well, he goes there again. Here's Gamage. Nobody's going to catch him. And just like that, Marshall is back on top. Well, definitely a miscommunication on the Charlotte defense. Left Gamage wide open. And you could see Solomon Rogers as he was running down the field looking around like, hey, guys, what are we doing? Charlotte's secondary is definitely not on the same page. Good job by Wells to recognize it. And he hits that one. He's missed a couple of wide open throws today, but Wells recovers to hit that one. For Marshall, three plays, 75 yards, 40 seconds. Now let's take a look here at, at this play again. We can see what went wrong for Charlotte. Gamage at the bottom of the screen. Chetrick Ursary is over him. He comes in on the blitz. And now Gamage is just wide open. No one comes over the top of him. The safety is Solomon Rogers, and perhaps he didn't get the correct call on the play. He didn't know that he needed to be over the top of Gamage as Ursary came in. Remember, this Marshall defense tied for first in the country coming in with 37 sacks. Reynolds wasn't sure of the play with four to go on the play clock. And he fumbled the exchange. Balls on the ground. Who has it? Marshall says they do. And it's Marshall ball. This drive had so much promise for the 49ers, but a botched exchange from Reynolds. And Marshall able to fall on it. The Charlotte's running power read, and Reynolds takes a little bit too much time to make that decision. He pulls it out late, and Bird thinks that he's getting the handoff. And it ends up in a costly mistake. Win the next two and you're in the conference title game. Marshall obviously lost that one. You got to wonder if that's still on those guys' mind. Wells keeps it and picks up the first down. Ducks out of bounds to stop the clock at the 35. Good decision by Wells on the zone read. Reading the defensive end, he crashes down inside. So Wells just pulls it and moves the sticks. Watch the defensive end, top of the screen, zero in green, comes down inside, well sees that, and knows he has room to get the first down. Majority of this offense, though, just to piggyback on that from 2019, a little bit different. Wells was not the starting quarterback. Ali was not the starting running back. He takes the pitch out of the backfield and set up really well. He takes it inside the 20, and it stops the clock with 27 seconds to go in the half. Good blocking by Marshall's wide receivers in front of Ali. McMillan, number three, getting the block to help Ali get into the open field. It's all a gain of seven on first down. Double team at the middle of the screen on 44. Horton opens up the hole for Ali, and then a nice hit at the end from Charlotte. Ali got around Solomon Rogers like it was nothing in the open field. Harrison on the quick catch has the first down as he's spun down 
at the 38. But to set up defenders and set up blocks, but man, does he have the athleticism and the speed? Wells for Gaines the tight end, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 41. Second and five, Ali. And that's a first down for Marshall. On first down, Harrison tiptoes the sideline and picks up about six yards. This possession aided by that 15-yard face mask, but they're moving the ball well. Ali, powerful run. Another first down for the thundering herd to the Charlotte 24. Charlotte came into this game with a goal of forcing four turnovers. Haven't had one yet. Wells on third down. Fires over the middle, wide open. Touchdown. Xavier Gaines. 22 yards, Wells to Gaines. And the Marshall lead is two scores. Good protection from the Marshall offensive line. Gaines just splits the safeties right down the middle of the field. Good bits blitz pickup by Ali coming across to get Martin. Third quarter, nine plays, 75 yards, 311 off the clock. The strike from Wells to Gaines. And it's Marshall by two scores. Charlotte trying to answer Marshall's opening drive touchdown to the third quarter. Both teams traded opening drive touchdowns in the first quarter, too. Reynolds takes a shot, overthrows his man, and it's picked off. Nazi Johnson, his second INT of the season. Reynolds trying to force it, and that's back-to-back -back possessions, Patrick that Charlotte's had the ball on Marshall's side of the field and turned it over. Not a good decision from Reynolds. Bracket coverage there. Had the safety over the top, and Johnson makes a good play tracking the ball, but just a bad decision from Reynolds and trying to force that one. He did have some pressure in his face from Beauplan, and then gets shoved to the ground as well. But that's one where Reynolds has to tuck it down. And well, that wasn't a sack. That's one of those instances where pressure creates a turnover. And sometimes getting a pressure is just as good as a sack. So from the five, Ali somehow broke through that first line of defense, carrying the pile, and he lost the football, and it's picked up by Marshall. Thankfully for the thundering herd, Devin Miller the redshirt junior tight end fell on it, but an impressive, powerful run from Rasheen Ali. And that was part of Charlotte's game plan this week, was trying to strip the football. Once you get him wrapped up, the second guy coming in has got to try to strip it. You see John Alexander, number one, pulling at that football, and he gets it out. That was part of Charlotte's game plan this week. But the Herd have done a good job. Just two turnovers in the last three games. They've improved on that lately. They play a lot of close games. All their losses de de decided by one score. Those turnovers can make a huge difference. Here's Ali turning on the Jets down the sideline. Rashid Ali all the way down inside the 10. What a performance from Ali. To get him to the edge on outside zone, he finds a seam, and he is tough to run down in the open field. The offensive line getting to the outside, getting out in front. The big fellas downfield creating space for Ali and has the speed to break away. Watch the wide receivers getting out in front. McMillan, Johnson, Devin Miller, the tight end as well, helping Ali get that big run. Over 200 yards of scrimmage, 183 on the ground. Second down. Evans again, cuts it right. And he's in. Sheldon Evans gets in on the fun. And Marshall now leads by three scores. Two possessions, two touchdowns here in the third quarter. And Charles Huff is fired up. Yeah, the way that Marshall has been running the football, you, Charlotte can't put its defense right back out on the field. No huddle. Bird looking for some space, but he's bottled up and driven back. Lost a yard, and it's fourth down. 
Marshall defensive line pushing into the backfield. It started with T.J. Johnson, the defensive tackle, getting the penetration to blow up that play. Half of the first three and out of the night forced by the Marshall defense. They get the ball back at the 19 after they've scored 21 unanswered points. Rasheen Ali, the workhorse, gets the call on first down, takes it for five yards. Grant Wells is starting to heat up as well. That running game opening up the pass. He's completed his last seven and nine of his last 11. And early in the game, Wells missed a couple of wide open passes, but he has settled in, calmed down, and is playing really well. Wells to throw on second down. Takes a shot deep. Has a man there. It's hauled in. Willie Johnson inside the 25. Didn't miss that deep ball. Beautiful throw from Wells and Johnson with his speed winning on the post route. Gain Wells. of 53 yards. Yeah, not nice throw from Wells, allowing Johnson to continue running, hitting him in stride. Back on the ground to Ali, and he powers his way inside the 20 to the 17. Third and goal. Ali up the gut. Oh, what a powerful run. Touchdown. 28 unanswered for Marshall. And it's Rasheen Ali into the end zone for the third time tonight. Ali has the moves and the speed in the open field, and he's got the power between the tackles. You saw it there, lowering the shoulder for the touchdown. Ali coming right up the middle, lowers the shoulder and just knocks the linebacker on his back to get the touchdown. Here's the extra point. Chuchi knocks it through. And it's all Marshall. Three possessions in this third quarter, three touchdowns. Rasheen Ali doing it again. Let's listen to this hit on the touchdown run from Rasheen Ali. Justin Wisenhunt. Much bigger deficit this time, but Charlotte's not going to give up. This is the 100th game for Charlotte in program history. Healy in his third season. No gain on first down on the run from Calvin Camp and, and the touchdown pass in 15 straight games. There are plenty of pieces here and some that are experienced and returning next year for Healy. Free blitzer over the middle. Nice job by Reynolds to get rid of it, but DuBose dropped it. Big hit on Reynolds. He was able to deliver that one, though, despite the hit. Charlie Gray came flying through. Junior still delivers an accurate throw. Gain of 15 and a first down. Now five for five on fourth down tonight. Reynolds has all day this time. Fires it deep down the middle, and that one was almost intercepted. A little bit underthrown. Looking for Elijah Spencer, the freshman. Spencer had a step, but Reynolds might be feeling some of those hits on this drive. Under through that just a little bit. And good coverage from Nazee Johnson. Gets his head turned around to see the ball. And it, it was a bit underthrown. If Reynolds could have led Spencer a little bit more, he might have had six. Trying to claw their way back into this one. They've given up 28 unanswered points. Reynolds going for DeBose off the helmet of the defensive back. Good coverage. No flag. And it's fourth down. Charlotte one for 11 on third down. Now six for six on fourth down. First and 10 at the 27. Play action Reynolds. And just throws it away. He's done a nice job avoiding the sacks, but he's still taking a ton of hits in the process, especially in the second half. Reynolds is going to be feeling this one when he wakes up tomorrow. Kobe Cumberlander putting a good shot on him there, and it seems like every passing play, if Reynolds isn't running out of the pocket and getting away from the pressure, he's taking a hit and getting put on the ground, even if he gets the ball out. I haven't had a lot of opportunities for him to stand tall in the pocket and scan the field, but a lot of quick throws are rolling him out. Here's Calvin Camp with a little bit of a hole. If we're going to win this game, we need to get some turnovers. Four we'll be happy with. They have zero at the moment. And Charlotte has not accomplished its goal in that area. They did pull out one fumble, but couldn't recover it. Bird again. He might have lost a yard back of the nine. The 15th play of the drive. 
for Charlotte. Tonight's their 100th game and certainly not the one, not the way they wanted it to go. Still do have that chance at a bowl game next week at Old Dominion to close out the regular season. Zaban on the keeper. And he's to the 40-yard line, makes it third down and two. Marshall has scored a touchdown on all their possessions in the second half. Ah. Uh, I'm going to need some time to study the film on that one. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Evans, big hole, big run. First down to the 24. Especially in this third quarter, Wells did a really good job of making the right decisions and protecting the football and making plays down the field, too. Evans, big hole up the gut, and he's in for the second time tonight. 25-yard touchdown run for Sheldon Evans. He has a pair, and a lead back to 28 for Marshall. And Marshall might have put some of the backups in, in at the skill positions, but they still have the starters in at the O-line, and they do their job again here, just pushing that Charlotte defensive line way upfield and opening up a huge hole for Evans. Patrick, you could have run through that one. You could drive a truck through that one. <laughs> Ethan Payne, the freshman, gets a shot. The hometown West Virginia kid. Zaban keeps it. Second time he's picked up a first down on the ground. And you just know Marshall's just going to try and run out the clock like that. And Zaban, another West Virginia guy from right there in Huntington. So it's cool for Marshall fans to get to see these guys from, from right in their own area. In a matchup next week, not only obviously with the stakes attached to it, but you're at home against one of your biggest rivals in the conference, Western Kentucky. So Charles Huff in season one has Payne breaks a big one, picks up the first down of the 44. <laughs> That's such a Saban saying. I'm going to go out on a limb here, though, and say that it's worked pretty well for Coach Saban in Tuscaloosa and in his, his previous stops before that. I'd say so. Well, that will do it for this one as Zaban takes the final knee. It was 14-14 late in the second quarter, but Marshall turned it on. They take a 49-28 win back to Huntington. A lot of respect between those two guys right there, Will Healy and Charles Huff. And you can see the conversation going on right there. These are two young coaches in their tenure. Obviously, Will Healy is 36, but two guys that will be around for a long time as head coaches.